The news of today is, of course, the company AMC finally filing, you know, um, a disclosure to the market, to the SEC, um, confirming that they are about to enter a program or they might have already been entering a program to sell almost 425 million shares of APE, you know, the APE preferred equity unit share that was released in, in August. And of course, when this news was released, the, the stock was already down significantly pre-market. But something happened, you know, and I believe there is, you know, a positive in this news, even though in the short term, it will be a little bit of pain, maybe mostly anticipated than we think. And I want to go over that and see exactly how this can be a very, 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 very good thing for the mother of all short squeezes, overall speaking. So let's get into it. This is the news we got this morning. Are you tempted to buy AMC's new apes? This is from Market Watch. Be prepared to lose everything the company wants. Well, I don't really agree with this because they're trying to put mouth, I mean, words into the mouth of the company, which is definitely not what it sounds, all right? AMC is planning to sell up to 425 million additional apes, the preferred equity units issued in August. So that is the news. So ape, here it is, you know, it did really, 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 really bad today. If you look at the overall performance, you know, so pre-market was already up to, you know, almost three and 10 cents. That was like, what, five, six, eight percent down. And then boom, shot up all the way to 28 percent during the first half of the trading session, touching and, you know, going above four dollars a share. And then slowly and slowly and slowly, yeah, the market was also kind of selling off because these conditions are just terrible. All right. So we can see from the top of the session to the highs, I mean, to, to, the, to the, 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 the close, it dropped 16 percent, which is kind of similar to what AMC did. If you look, AMC closed almost 15 percent. But from the, the top to the lows, that is, you know, 15 percent. So, yeah, I think the market or people are really trying to I mean, this is the news. This is the news that created this whole thing, because this is something that was supposed to happen. So for people that were a little bit reading between the lines and were advised, you know, um, or not naive to think that the company will not use APE in order to, you know, dilute the company by issuing more shares in order to sell them to raise cash. That is something we talked about when APE came out and even before APE came out. And I tell, I mean, I, I told you guys that this is something that is not really sitting well with me, but I can see how it can partake into the most, you know, uh, 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 on the on the medium to the to, to the long run. Now, the long run doesn't necessarily mean many years or many months. It's just after we pass the sales of these shares. All right. So 425 million. If you multiply it by three, which is currently where the stock is trading at, you know, you have what you have a billion and six dollars. At current prices, the cinema chain could raise up to 1.6 billion from the sale of additional apes, which was disclosed in regulatory filing with City Group Global Markets acting as sales agent. When this happened last year, or the year before, I couldn't remember, but the last time AMC sold, they went through a sales agent, and by the time the news was already out, you know, it was actually happening. So I wouldn't be surprised if what we saw today in Ape was the result of the company selling. Now, which is a little bit confusing is the fact that AMC is also pretty much down 15%. So are they also selling AMC shares? No, not necessarily, not quite, because in order to do the do so, they will have also to so to file, you know, a, 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 a documentation with the SEC, which we haven't heard so far. Now, what I'm hearing on this, you know, and the takeaway for all of us here should be this: the one point, you know, the minimum of one billion dollar the company can raise out of this. And they mentioned the company intends to use the net proceeds, if any, from the sale of AMC preferred equity, primarily to repay, refinance, redeem or repurchase the company's existing indebtedness, including expenses, accrued interest or premium, if any, and otherwise for general corporate purposes. In other words, in simple language, they intend to use this money to pay down debt. AMC is, they have a lot of debt, you know, which is not surprising to big companies, to big corporations. If you look around the world, Apple, Google, the Chevron, the Total, you know, the, 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 the big tech, 
the the big companies tend to also have big debt so this is not something that is just specific and surprising and even shocking to amc now we know that so far all of the other items all of the other reasons and catalysts that the company i mean the shorts have been using to bet against the company even though the company proved for the last two years that you know they are coming back really really strong the only thing remaining on their list of justifications for why it makes sense to short amc is the huge amount of debt so ape being diluted in other words having more shares flooding in the market the company selling that to raise cash can be really positive can be a really positive for amc in the medium or long-term run why because once the pay i mean the debt it's paid off all right once the debt is paid off on top of the additional you know billion dollars cash they also have in reserve plus the you know incomes coming from the, the the movie theaters kind of you know regaining some steam again especially you know we have big blockbusters names coming out we have avatar 2 all of those big names that are coming that are coming as we get into the later part of uh, uh this year this is going to be also a very 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 good thing when it comes to the next earnings i wouldn't be surprised if at some point the company totally 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 is debt free once that happens i can guarantee you pretty much everybody on wall street will want to have a piece of amc shares and that's when your shares my shares will be a lot more valuable they will mean a lot more thing to just six or seven dollars a piece maybe add two zero to that and that's when we do know we are on the mother of all short squeezes but again it's going to be a, a little more painful short term but once we pass that man it's looking very very juicy so i'm not phased at all